for over a decade, I've hiked and biked all over North America while carrying as little as possible in order to keep my trip focused and deliberate. Even with as little as I've carried, I've learned there's always someone more ultralight than you. This past summer, I was hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail on my favorite section in northern Washington. And on my favorite day of my favorite section, I started up high on the north side of Glacier Peak. We descended from a Sound of Music style high mountain meadow down through the increasingly large trees into an old growth forest full of gigantic cedars. As Alex and I were going over yet another down tree, we noticed a young man behind us lamenting a freshly torn giant hole in his shorts. His name is Courier. He's from Taiwan, and he was just finishing up his Pacific Crest Trail through hike. Walking with your true self on the Pacific Crest Trail. <laughs> he has an interesting perspective on hiking gear, and I think he has something to teach us. Above all else, Courier's gear is very creative. He is very resourceful with the gear and food that he collects along the way, oftentimes modifying, making, or using something in an unexpected way. I start with the 40 liter backpack and I made it by myself. So now it's 20 liter one. I using this since the South Lake Tahoe. I buy this just for the show off because if I wear this, people will ask my gear. <laughs> I see Tank Top, he's a hiker using an 18 liter backpack and he also make this modify. And there is a foam at the hip and another foam at the straps. And I do some modify like this and I can carry another pair of shoes because I usually hiking with the sandals and I need to prepare the trail running shoes for the snow and rocky area. I have a bottle sleeve and Did you make that one? Yeah. <laughs> this is my trekking pole and it's broken now. I use this only for the for my tarp. What in my backpack? I have very low budget, so I will mix everything sweet at one bag and everything salty at one bag, like smashed potato and couscous. And this one usually is uh, cocoa powder and uh, oatmeal. <laughs> And this is my tarp. I made it by myself, but I copy from the pocket tarp. I use the SketchUp and I can have a model for my dimension. <laughs> because I not very hate like Caucasian. <laughs> and this is my sleeping pad I found at the hiker box. <laughs> XLI shirt. I fixed them with the tab, but it's not work. So I need to feel refill every night twice this is my sleeping bag with the BV and my BV is coffee from Bora gear <laughs> BV with the bug net and every night I need to wear in my cap to make sure the the mosquito not going to sting me but every time I flip my body oh no Oops. Did it just break? No. Oh no. Okay, maybe next time I will show you my sleeping bag. I never used the uh, uh, down jacket for old trail, even the Sierra. At the Sierra, I only wearing two rain jacket. And two rain jackets. Yes, it's really warm. <laughs> Yeah. And with the this uh, Alpha Direct fleece. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I use the water bottle sleeve and uh, this one for the water carry. So it's one liter here and uh, 
health liter here. And I'm using this for the chocolate milk and sometimes it's for oatmeal. And I lost a lot of my gear or broke my gear at the tra on the trail. So I just made a new spoon yesterday with the nail clip. I broke my glasses and it's very expensive when you want if you want to change the glasses. I just fix them with the super glue. I broke I broke a uh, sunglass and glue my glasses on the sunglass. So <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is my bowl. I actually I used this for scoop the water, but now it's, it's my bowl because I cannot find the cold soaking jar. <laughs> Making with the platypus water bag. And I like to leave some message for my friend behind me. So I bring the notebook and the pen. And you also have people right on your backpack. Oh yes. <laughs> if I find some very cool guy, I really want to make some uh, memory with them. So, and I lost. I, I mean, I gave all of my ten stick for people because <laughs> I don't use I. I seldom use the, my tarp, and so I don't have any stakes now. <laughs> and clips. Yes, for making spoons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, also this one is adjustable uh, tight. It's very convenient because I will use in this bounding the snacks on my another straps, and it's convenient for eating something. I think I can carry, no, I mean, it's real. I can carry five day food with this. But if I need to carry five day food, first day, and first two day, I need to put my sleeping bag on the top and using this strap to make sure they're not going to drop. So, done. <laughs> One of my favorite things about a thru-hiker's gear is how it evolves over time. The grime wears in, and your belongings become much more specific and personal. Courier's gear is full of personality. He made a spoon out of bark using nail clippers. He had a bunch of hikers draw all over his pack. All of his gear, whether he made it or not, fundamentally feels like him. 